Hello everyone, welcome to study tonight. In this video, we will learn about the input and output functions in the language. So let's get started with it. Now, what is an input? Input means to provide the program with some data that is to be used in the program. And what is an output? Output means to display that data on screen or uh, write the data to a printer or a file. So we have uh, known this by now that what is an input simply uh, whatever we give through a keyboard, right? So any data that can be any data that we give through a keyboard and that is used in the program. So, and what is an output? Output means simply to display the result of that program on the screen or write that data to the printer or a file. So that will be output. Now, C programming language provides many built-in functions to read any given out input and to display data on screen that is the output when there is a need to output the result. So in this tutorial, we will learn about such functions which can be used in our program to take input from user and to output the result on screen. And all these built-in functions are present in C header files. We will also specify the name of header files in which a particular function is defined while discussing about it. So these are the first uh, input and output function. These are scan and printf function. The scanf and printf function, the standard input output header file named stdo.h contains the definition of the functions printf and scanf, which are used to display output on screen and to take input from user respectively. So stdo.h contains these two functions, that is uh, pre printf and scanf. Now printf is used to display the output on the screen and scanf is used to take the input from the user. So these are two functions. Now here is an example of uh, these functions, scanf and printf. So here we have used our header file that is stdo.h. Now we are defining a variable that is i. We have not initialized it yet. We have simply defined a variable i and it, it is of integer type. Now here we are displaying a message, please enter a value that will be displayed on the output screen. That please enter a value. So when we will enter any value that will be of integer type as uh, we have taken a variable and also we have specified the percentage d in the scanner. So uh, percentage d means basically it, the value which will uh, user enter will be of integer type. And and i, that is ampersand i, is to uh, basically the address at, at which the value will be stored. So the value will be stored at the variable i. So in that particular location, the value will be stored, whatever the user will enter. Now, whatever value the user will enter, it will displayed by this printf function, that is you enter percentage d, the value which we uh, which was entered by the uh, scanf function from the uh, uh, from the user, and that is in the i variable. So this value is entered at i. Now, whatever will be the value, it will be displayed. So when you will compile this code, it will ask you to enter a value. When you will enter that value, it will display the value you have entered on the screen. Now you must be wondering what is the purpose of percentage D inside the scanf or printf functions. So it is known as a format string and this informs the scanf function what type of input to expect. And in printf, it is used to give a heads up to the compiler what type of output to expect. So if it is percentage D, that means it is a uh, integer type. If you will write percentage F, that will be your plot, basically the decimal type, right? So here are the format strings and what are the meaning of these different format strings? So percentage D, it scan or print an integer as sign decimal number. Now percentage F, scan or print a floating point number. Percentage C is to scan or print a character. Percentage S, to scan or print a character string. 
the scanning ends at white space right so we can also limit the number of digits or characters that can be input or output now by adding a number with the format string specifier like uh, if you enter percentage 1b or you simply uh, write percentage 2d 3d 4d that depends or percentage 3s percentage 1d the person uh, the first one means a single numeric digit and the second one means the three character character is basically the string which we are taking uh, with the help of s now it will take only the th three character of that string hence if you try to input 42 by scanf has a percentage 1b so it will only take four as the input and it will not take two as input as it will take only the first digit and not the second one and same is the case for output if you will display the output uh, through that percentage 1b so it will show only for, uh, four and not two now in c language computer monitor or uh, printer etc these are output devices and these are treated as files and the same process is followed to write output to these devices as would have been followed to write the output to a file now there are some points to be noted that printf function returns the number of characters printed by it and scanf function returns the number of characters read by it so here is a variable i in which we have a printf function that is uh, taking study tonight now study tonight has how many characters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in this program, printf study tonight will return 12 as result. Suppose uh, it is taking 12 characters of study tonight and it is taking it in the variable which is of integer type, which will be stored in the variable i because uh, study tonight has 12 characters. So I will uh, have the value of uh, that is 12. Now, there are some other functions uh, other than the printf scanf also. So we'll uh, see that. And, th and these are some functions get care and put care function. Now, what does a get care function do or put care function do? So the get care function reads the character from the terminal and returns it as an integer. This function reads only single character at a time. You can use this method in a loop in case you want to read more than one character. And the put care function displays the character passed to it on the screen and returns the same character. This function too displays only a single character at a time. In case you want to display more than one character, you will use put care method in a loop. So while we are talking about loop, loop uh, basically uh, does uh, like it uh, takes the input multiple times basically it uh, works until the uh, condition is true so if we want to take uh, many characters so we'll use put care so get care and put care they only takes one character uh, they only uh, show one character put care only display one character and get care only takes one character uh, here is an example for put, uh, get care and put care. So, in this, we have taken a variable C and we have printf statement to enter a character. This will be displayed on the output screen that enter a character. Now, C. So, whenever we will enter a character, it will be stored in C as the get care function takes one character and it, it will uh, save it in C because C has assigned a value whatever in the get care. Now put care C. So C has the value which was passed in get care. So it will show to the put care function. So put care function is showing that value which is in the C. Now when you will compile this above code, it will ask you to enter a value. When you will enter the value, it will, will it will display the value that you have entered. Now see one more thing that we are showing, we are displaying the values who put care also not only printf but we can show the values to put care right now there are some other functions also that is get s and put s functions the get s function reads a gets or we can also write gets or puts uh, we can also uh, name this term as gets and puts 
so uh, these gets and uh, function reads a line from std in now here the header file is changed we were uh, uh, using stdo.h now we are taking std in that is standard input into the buffer pointed to by str pointer until either a terminating new line or end of the file occurs now the put as function writes a string and a trailing new line to std out okay so so one other uh, output standard output what we say std out standard output so here str this is a pointer to an array of characters where the c string is stored now example of this char str 100 so we have taken a string that can uh, contain a uh, basically character array of length 100 now here print if enter a string it will be displayed on the output string string or uh, output screen that is enter a string now get a uh, string and put a string get s will take the string and put s will show the string whatever was entered by the user and get ch with ch will hold on to the screen for one character as soon as you will enter any uh, key it will be exited from the screen now when you will compile the buff code it will ask you to enter a string when you will enter the string it will display the value that you have entered right so now here difference between scanf and get is the main difference between these two function is that scanf stops reading character when it in and uh, encounters a space but get is read space as character 2 so it will count that character uh, that space which is there between two string and it will read space as character 2 so if you enter name as study tonight using scan it will only read and store study and will leave the part after space because it already got a space there but get is function will read it completely as study tonight and not only as study right so now with this we have come to the end of our uh, topic for more such informative videos covering c language you can subscribe to our youtube channel uh, you can also give thumbs up if you like the video and you can also uh, visit our website to read more about the c language and, and other topics you will find that uh, link in the description below you can also revise this topic by giving test if you are preparing for your exam or interview you will find for the link uh, for the test in the description too, right thank you so much Thank <music> you.